Welcome back to Next Gen Diecast for the continuation of round one here in race two of the 2021 Next Gen Piston Cup. Today's races will be featuring groups three and four. Let's introduce the drivers. First up, number 36, Rich Mixon. Mixon sitting 31st in the standings with just six points. He's got a lot of work to do today to get through to the next round. Next up, it's number 11, Chris Roman. Roman currently sitting 28th in the standings with eight points and no heat wins. Next up, number 48, Aaron Clocker. Clocker currently 24th in the standings with nine points and he did have one heat win in race one. And last up, it is number 20, Jackson Storm. Storm sitting 19th in the standings with 10 points and one heat win. Well, it is time for some racing. Group three, heat one. Is Jackson Storm and Aaron Clocker out in row one, and then Chris Roman and Rich Mixon in row two. Drivers are ready to go, and we are ready for some good racing. The gate drops, race one is underway. Storm leads them through one and two. Here they come down into turn three. Storm still leading. Battle for second behind him. It's going to be Storm taking the win in the first heat. And a race to the line. Mixon just over Clocker for second. Roman finishing in fourth. Watch the battle for second going through turn three and four. Mixon was up on two wheels for a second. And then Clocker spins around. Mixon gets into the back of him. And then at the line, Mixon just edging out Clocker by maybe a fender for second place. So Jackson Storm will lead the way after the first heat with five points. Rich Mixon picks up three points. Aaron Clocker with two points. And then Chris Roman just with one point. And we are set for the second heat. Aaron Clocker and Rich Mixon in row one. And it's Jackson Storm and Chris Roman in row two. And we are back racing again. Good start for both Clocker and Mixon. They race down to turn one. Mixon's going to lead coming out of two. Here he comes all by himself coming out of turn four. It's going to be Mixon at the line. Clocker second, Storm third, and Roman in fourth. It was a great battle for the lead going into turn one, but watch Mixon. He's going to get a great run out of turn two. And then he's got a big lead coming into turn three. A little oversteer. You see a battle for second between Clocker and Storm. And Mixon going to pick up his first win of the season, followed by Aaron Clocker. So standings after two heats. Rich Mixon now leading the way by one point over Jackson Storm. And then Aaron Clocker sitting in third, three points off of Mixon. And Chris Roman with a rough start, back-to-back -back fourth place finishes with just two points at the bottom. So the drivers are ready for heat three. It's Rich Mixon and Chris Roman in row one. Aaron Clocker and Jackson Storm in row two. Green flag back out at Thunder Mountain Speedway. Mixon will lead them through one and two. Roman spins. Mixon's going to pull away. Here he comes out of turn four. It's Rich Mixon. He'll take the win again. Roman finishes second, Storm third, Aaron Clocker in fourth. It's a good battle again through one and two. Mixon gets into the wall, coming out of turn two, and then Roman spins, and that allowed Mixon to pull away and run away with his second straight win. Chris Roman did get his best finish of the day as he finished in second. And so now, three heats into this, Rich Mixon has opened up a four-point lead over Jackson Storm. Aaron Clocker back in third with six points and then Roman in fourth with five points. So this is between Mixon and Storm and Mixon just needs to score at least two points in the final heat to lock up this group. So one more heat to go. Heat four, Chris Roman and Jackson Storm in row one. Rich Mixon and Aaron Clocker in row two. All the pressure on Storm. Starting in the outside of row one. The final heat is underway. Storm's going to make the pass going into turn one. He leads. Storm and Roman spin. Here they come around turn four. Storm leads. He'll win his second race. Roman second, Clocker third, and Mixon in fourth. So both Storm and Roman would spin coming down the middle straight. And that would slow up Mixon. I think Mixon was making a run until Roman spun right in front of him. And then you'll watch Storm and Roman ping-ponging off the walls as they cross the finish line in reverse. Jackson Storm with that win, he ties Rich Mixon in points, but it's not going to be enough. Rich Mixon had the faster time today, and that'll give him the tiebreaker. So Rich Mixon, the winner of Group 3, and he will be advancing on 
to round two. Jackson Storm finishes second. And then you've got Chris Roman and Aaron Clocker tied with eight points apiece. Let's introduce the drivers for group four. First up, it's number 15, Harvey Rodcap. Rodcap sitting 22nd in the standings with 10 points, and he has one heat win. Next up, number 92, Sheldon Shifter. Shifter sitting 11th in the standings with 11 points, and he also has a single heat win. Next up, number 90, Paul Conrev. Paul sitting 10th in the standings with 11 points, and he was one of the faster drivers in the first race to not advance to round two. And last up, number 68, H.J. Hollis. Hollis is the points leader, sitting atop of the leaderboard with 49 points and eight heat wins. Heat one, the drivers are staged and ready to go. It's H.J. Hollis and Paul Conrev in row one, and then Sheldon Shifter and Harvey Rodcap in row two. The gate drops and group four is off. Conrev will lead him going down into turn one. He spins, Hollis and Rodcap spin as well. Conrev is all by himself. He's into the catch fence and across the line for the win. Hollis and Rodcap will race to the line for second. It's gonna be Hollis over Rodcap. Shifter finishing in fourth. What a chain of events. Watch Conrev, he's gonna get airborne in reverse coming out of turn four. And then he's up into the wall and into the catch fence. If that catch fence wasn't there, he ends up inside the garages. And then you see Hollis beat out Rodcap by about a car length for second. So what a crazy race to start here in group four. Paul Conrev with an 8.445 puts down the fifth fastest time of the season. And he will lead in the standings after the first heat. Conrev with five points, Hollis with three points, Rodcap has two points, and then Sheldon Shifter in fourth with one point. We are set for heat two. It's Paul Conrev and Harvey Rodcap in row one. And then H.J. Hollis and Sheldon Shifter in row two. The gate drops and we are racing again. Good race between Conrev and Rodcap. Rodcap's gonna take the lead. Here they come into three. Conrev pulls up right behind him. It's gonna be Rodcap at the line. Conrev second, Shifter third. And then H.J. Hollis is up at the top left of your screen with a DNF. He got stuck at the exit of turn four. But watch this great run from Rodcap coming out of turn two. And then Conrev will pull up nose to tail, coming through turn three and four. And then Rodcap beating him out by half a car length at the line. And H.J. Hollis, for the first time this season, would get a DNF and not score any points. So after two heats, Paul Conrev leading the way with eight points. Harvey Rodcap second with seven points. And then we've got Sheldon Shifter and H.J. Hollis tied, both with three points apiece. The drivers are back at the line for heat three. It's Harvey Rodcap and Sheldon Shifter in row one, and then Paul Conrev and H.J. Hollis in row two. Here we go, the gate drops, we're racing. Conrev with a big push on Rodcap, that'll give him the lead. Rodcap leads coming down in the three. Conrev tries to close the gap, but it's gonna be Rodcap winning his second straight race over Conrev, Shifter in third, and Hollis with another DNF. Watch Conrev, big bump draft on Rodcap going down into turn one, and then Rodcap just carries that momentum all the way down into three. He gets into the wall a little bit, coming through three and four, and Conrev was able to close the gap, but it was too little too late. And then we'll watch H.J. Hollis, he kind of climbs the track there and just straight down into the grass. Back-to-back -back DNFs for our points leader. So Harvey Rodcap moves into the points lead with that win. Now just one point ahead of Paul Conrev. So Rodcap and Conrev going back and forth. And then we've got Shifter in third with five points. And unexpectedly, the points leader, H.J. Hollis, just three points after three heat races. And now just one more heat to go. Heat four, it's Sheldon Shifter and H.J. Hollis in row one. And then in row two, it's Harvey Rodcap and Paul Conrev. The race is between Harvey Rodcap and Paul Conrev. Who will advance to the next round? Gate drops, final heat is underway. Shifter will lead going into turn one. Shifter spins, here they come into turn three. Rodcap around Hollis on the outside. Down to the line, it's Shifter over Rodcap for the win. Hollis third, Conrev in fourth. They would play bumper cars going down into turn three. Rodcap would make the pass on Hollis for second. 
And then Rodcat would pull nose to tail with Shifter, but nowhere to go to make the pass, and Shifter would get his first win of the day. But it's Harvey Rodcap that will win Group 4 and advance on to Round 2. Harvey Rodcap finishes with 15 points. Paul Conrev second with 12 points. It was Sheldon Shifter down in third with 10 points. And then H.J. Hollis, our points leader, finishing down in fourth with just five points. Here are the updated driver standings, just four groups in to race two. Harvey Rodcap and Rich Mixon will be joining Herb Kerbler and J.D. McPillar in round two. Cruz Ramirez, Ed Trunken, and Barry DePetal have been knocked out of the top 16 and will not be advancing on to race three. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed these races, and we will see you back here next week. Take care.